command that I have here starts with a piece of HTML, an h1 tag, that's a heading 1 tag, then puts in a value of with an absolute xpath. The absolute xpath is go through the root element, which is print type, into the about element, into the title, and then paste that in the output right between the h1 tags. And if we look at the output, look at the output that's just what we see here's an h1 tag and it has the value that's in the title element of the about element of the prototype element and we can verify that oops we can verify that by going to the xml file looking in about and then we see the title michelle's movie recommendations and that's exactly what we find inside the h1 tag michelle's movie recommendations okay so there's a value of tag now let's look at the other form of the value of tag, going back over here to the XSL. And that's the one, the special form of the value of tag that we talked about earlier that you use when you want to put a value inside an attribute. That's the curly bracket version of the value of command. So if you remember, the curly brackets around an XPath, there's the XPath, surrounded by curly brackets, is exactly equivalent to saying XSL value of. And the only reason that we have this shorter firm form of it is so that we can pack a value of into an attribute because you can't paste the value of command or the value of tag, which has angle brackets, into an attribute because that will be a non-valid thing to do inside of our transform. And our transform is simply an XML file like any other XML file. Okay, so here's what we have going in this one. We have an image tag. And the image has a source, and the source is just pointing to somewhere on the web. Um, there's no XML, there's no XMLness about that one at all. In the title, and the title you'll remember creates a mouse over. In the title, we put the same title as we put in that H1 above, which is the title of the about tag. Okay, so if we look at the HTML produced, here's the image. We mouse over it, and we see that we get the title of the about tag in the mouse over in the title attribute of the image two versions of the um, two versions of the value of tag now let's look at the copy of tag so we have first of all we have one last value of here and I just wanted to show you a value of just embedded inside of a sentence it says h2 and then description of space and then the value of the title of the movie under all of this stuff but it's the movie whose ID is exper Starting from the root, we go down through the prototype tag, into the info types tag, into the movies tag, into the movie tag, but we know there's a bunch of those, so we put a where clause on it to say only the movie whose ID is M-E-X-P-E-R, and then after that, down into the title tag. So we're getting the title of the movie embedded in a sentence with the words description of in front of it. Okay, and that's this right here. Description of embedded in an H2 tag, and here's the title of the movie that we selected. Not every movie, just the one movie that we selected. Now actually, while we're here, let me show you something that was a little more difficult to show before. Suppose I say this, right? I forget to say which movie. I just say movie title. Now let me run this again. Run. Oh, whoops, sorry. Got to start from the XML file. Click the run button, prompts me for the output file, yes, it's the old one, um, and that saying that this file has changed, we go back over here, this is the second, this is the second one, let's see, let me get rid of one of these, whoops, oh, sorry, I got messed up, hold on a second. Let me do that again. Here I am in the XML file. I click transform. Uh, hold on a second. Also, I want to make sure I save my XSL file. I shouldn't have to save it, but I'm never quite sure whether it looks at the changes that I made. So I save it just to be on the safe side. Go to the XML file, run the transform, prompts me for the file. Say replace the file, yes does the transform. Now it's going to open it up in here. And, huh, it proved me a liar. I was trying to show you that it was going to get the value of all of the, well, I guess it doesn't do that. Okay. Well, so be it. Um, 
what I was hoping that it would do was give me the value of all the movies. Let's do it this way. I want to make it do that. I won't stop until I do. Okay. So suppose I say select oops, equal movie title. Now let's run it. Oops, got to go over to the XML file to run it. Sorry. Go over to the XML file, run it. Prompts me for the file. Replace the one that I created before. Bring it up in the browser. And it's thinking about it. And I can't get it to do that. Oh well, I'll find another way to show you that. Okay, so what I've proven to myself, which I obviously didn't know before, was that regardless of how you try to make it give you the value, okay, I know what I can do to really, to now it's going to work. Okay, so let me go actually, let me back up a little bit here. This is what I really want to show you. And I should have started this way in the first place. Now I forgot to put the title in, right? So now let me run it. Go back over to the XML file. Run it again. Replace the HTML file. Browser. Okay. Now I'm going to get something wacky. There. Okay. Now what did I get here? Um, look at all of this stuff that it put in there instead of just the title. Notice, by the way, it did get the title, but it got the title and a bunch of other a bunch of other stuff. What did it get? It got all of the values of all the text nodes under that movie. So here's the movie. Let's find the movie. Here's the movie, and here's all the text nodes. And actually, it's um, I didn't say this before, but it's all the text nodes that are not in attributes. It's only the element text nodes. You can see that we don't have any of the IDs or anything in here. It's giving me the values of all the text nodes under all the elements. So here's just basically all the text. If you stripped out all the tags and what you'd have left is just the text in here, that's what it gave me. And the reason it did was because I specified here a text node I, excuse me, specified a node that had lots of child nodes in it, right? So it didn't know what to make of a value of the movie of the movie tag. So it took all the text nodes under the movie tag, all the text nodes under all the elements under the movie tag, and it gave me that as a value. Okay, so let me fix it up by putting the title back in there. Okay, and now. I go back to just having the title. Okay, so sorry that was a, a, a long digression, but I wanted to show you that because you will come across that, and there'll be times when that messes you up, and then now you know what to do about it. Okay, so the copy of tag here is going to just copy all of the children under the description. So let's look at that again, and now here I have the description, and I have the P child under the description, and I have the UL child under the description. Okay, so it's going to copy that P tag and that UL tag in there, and I scanned it, and I realized there was no non-HTML, no XML tags mixed in with the pseudo HTML tags that I have under description. Now I put those, I made those HTML, I made those XML tags under the description have the same names as HTML tags because it was convenient. A P is a P. Why name it something else? Um, however, if I look at the schema, I see that under the description. I'm allowed to have a couple of tags that aren't HTML tags, and so this is a dangerous thing that I'm doing here, but I'll show it to you anyway just to demonstrate the copy of tag. The copy of tag is going to make a copy of all the children under the description. I look under the description, I see there's two children, a P and a UL. I look over here on my uh, page here, let me close up some of these things, get rid of all the ones I don't want. And refresh that page there. Um, and now I see that here's the P and here's the UL. It gave me the copy of. It's a literal copy of the XML. And since the XML happened to look just like HTML, copying it into a web page was okay. It was an okay thing to do. Okay, on to the next subject matter here.